Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will explain how to install WSL version 2. WSL is an abbreviation for Windows Subsystem for Linux. For those of you who are not familiar with WSL, WSL enables you to run Linux Ubuntu or any other version of Linux that is supported on Windows. In particular, in this tutorial, I'm using Windows 11 and I will explain a step-by-step -step procedure to install the default version of Linux Ubuntu and then later on, I'm going to show you how to install a specific version of Linux Ubuntu as well as to adjust and configure your Linux Ubuntu installation. So let's immediately start. Okay, there are two approaches for installing WSL on a Windows system. First of all, you can use command prompt in the administrator mode or you can use PowerShell. Honestly speaking, I don't like PowerShell since it's a, not a very good copy of Linux Bash. So consequently, I will use command prompt. So let's start immediately. First of all, click here then search for command prompt and start the command prompt in the administrator mode right click and then click run as administrator and click on yes okay so first of all let's verify all the possible versions of linux that can be installed with wsl and over here if you type this command you will see the versions of linux the most recent version is Ubuntu 24.04 and I suggest to everyone to install this version. This is mainly for users who plan to use robot operating system Jazzy Jalisco or some other user who want to test machine learning algorithms. So what is selected over here? Ubuntu. And this is the default version that comes with WSL. So currently I will just install this default version and later on I will explain how to install Ubuntu 24.04. Maybe the default version with WSL is actually this version. However, it might be any of the other versions over here. We will see that later on. So don't worry, let's first install WSL and then we will adjust all the details. To install WSL version 2, we need to run this command. Note that this command will actually install WSL version 2, although it's not written version 2 over here, and press enter. And the installation is not going to take long time. It's going to be relatively quick. Of course, this depends on how fast is your computer and how fast is your internet connection. And over here, you can see something is happening and then I will click on yes over here and now we are installing Windows subsystem for Linux. Note over here that we have already installed virtual machine platform which is very important and then we are installing Ubuntu. Later on we will see what is the version of Ubuntu and this looks pretty fast actually since we are probably just installing the basic 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 Ubuntu and you can see what happened Windows subsystem for Linux has been installed, installing Ubuntu, Ubuntu has been installed, the requested operation is successful, change will, will not be effective until the system is restarted or rebooted. Okay, so we need to restart our computer. After we restart the computer, we will continue further. So restart your computer. And after you restart the system, you will see this screen. This screen will automatically pop up. Over here, you need to set your username. So I will set my username and after that you will be asked to enter the password. So I will set my password. Of course, you will not see the password over here. So enter once, then you need to write it again and password set correctly. And you can see over here some information over here. You can see that we are currently actually running Windows, actually Linux Ubuntu 24.04, which is the most recent version of Linux Ubuntu. Okay, now in the sequel, I will explain how to adjust several things related to your Ubuntu and how to install maybe some other version of Linux Ubuntu. Next, let's close this window and let's explain how to start Ubuntu from scratch. So let's close this, then click here and if you search now over here Ubuntu, you'll see this app. 
actually. So you can click here and you can see that Ubuntu will be started. Okay, so let's first verify what's happening over here. What is the version that we are currently running? If you type, type LSB release dash A, you will see the current Linux Ubuntu version. After you install this Ubuntu version, always run this sudo apt get update and sudo apt let me do apt get upgrade okay so press enter enter your password and then everything will be updated and upgraded and press yes over here so linux ubuntu will be updated and upgraded okay so this is the first step that you need to do Next, let's verify that our Linux Ubuntu distribution is actually working. So let's try to do this. Let's go to the home folder and let's type this to see how our home folder looks like. Good, it looks pretty much empty as expected. And of course, you cannot start a graphics user interface. It's might, it might be a little bit tricky to run a graphics user interface from Linux Ubuntu, that is from WSL, However, this is also possible and I will create a video tutorial explaining how to do that. So let's see, do we have sudo nano? That is, do we have a nano program? And let's try to edit one of the files, such as this configuration files. Good. So we have GNU nano, which is a very convenient program. And you can see over here your .bash rc file that sets up the bash environment and that sets up everything good okay so we can run linux ubuntu on our system and another command is this one pwd you can see where we are let's go for example to root and let's see what's happening over here yes we have everything over here as expected good next we explain how to install another version of linux or another version of linux ubuntu so let's close this window and let's start command prompt again in the administrator mode. So click here and search for command prompt and start the command prompt in the administrator mode. Good. Okay. So what we need to do over here is first to list all the available Linux distributions that can be installed within WSL. And you can see them over here. Okay. Let us assume that for some reason you want to install Ubuntu 22.04. Well, we are going to do that. However, at the same time, we are going to keep an older version or actually the newer version of Ubuntu Linux. Why would you like to do that? Well, if you're playing with robot operating system, for example, if you're playing with ROS2 Humble, ROS2 Humble requires Ubuntu 22.04, which is a little bit outdated version of Linux Ubuntu. So, to install this particular Linux Ubuntu inside of WSL, you need to execute this command with, this, with the precise distribution name. So let's copy this. Let's paste this here, or let me type it down since for some reason it doesn't like to paste. Install and then distribution and over here, let's copy this distribution. So paste it here and let's press enter oops what happens yes okay and let's press enter and now this version of linux ubuntu is being installed in parallel to the linux ubuntu version 24.04 so let's be patient over here and then again you will be set you'll be asked to set the username let's set the username and let's set the password let me now make sure that I don't create errors here. Okay, and that's it. Simple as that. Okay, and now if you type over here, let me now just go down, underscore release dash A, you will see that you are actually in Ubuntu 22.04. Good. Next, let's learn how to run this Linux Ubuntu version. So close this window, click here and search for Ubuntu. And over here, 
Besides this default version, you should also see Ubuntu 22.04.5. So click here and here it is. And let's now verify that this is the version dash A and you can see that this is Ubuntu version 22.04. Next, let's check several things. First of all, let's open a command prompt again in the administrator mode. So click here, search for command prompt open the command prompt as administrator and over here let's first verify what is the installed version currently so let's type this first and over here you can see the list of all linux ubuntu versions that are currently installed on our system ubuntu is the default version and you can see a star over here this version means that this is actually the version WSL2. Okay, and here is another version that we just installed. What if we want to change the default version of Ubuntu? Not a big deal. You will just run this command and then you will just specify the version name. Let me now copy this, paste this, and that's it. And now if I type this, you'll see that now the default version is Ubuntu 22.04. And then let's try to start them again. Let's do Ubuntu. Let's click here. This will be now non-default version. Or let's see. Release dash A. No, this is non-default version. However, the default version is Linux Ubuntu 24.04. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you learned a lot in this video tutorial and besides this video tutorial on my YouTube channel you can find more than 900 free video tutorials covering different topics such as machine learning, robotics, mathematics, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering and mechatronics. That's all for today and have a nice day.